A horrific attack on a man with special needs, the surprising job that the suspect held for years, which gave him direct access to children with developmental delays. Good evening, everyone. I'm Paula Grohn. Jamie Dyson is off tonight. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thanks for joining us. Tampa police say they're still looking into that suspect's past as a teacher at a special needs school to search for more possible victims. Our Clifton French joining us live tonight in South Tampa, where this assault happening. Cliff, the victim was originally reported as missing. Yeah, police say that his mother reported him missing and hours later officers found him outside of this apartment complex where that suspect lives. A former teacher at a school for special needs now accused of a heinous crime against a disabled adult. We felt that this was a danger to our community to have somebody out there that would prey on an individual like this. The police report describing unthinkable crimes involving drugs, pornography and sexual battery. Tampa police say the victim is a 23 year old man with the mental capacity of a child in elementary school. Initially, he told police he was fine, but later he walked to this gas station and had a clerk call the police. That's when he gave them a detailed story. The victim felt bad. He didn't know if what he'd done is wrong. Sergeant Lisa Parashas says 53 year old James Beaver talked him into getting into his car and took him to his apartment. Based on some of his ability to make decisions, he he complied with what an adult was telling him to do. Inside, Beaver gave him detailed directions. He told him to take a shower, brush your teeth. Uh, at some point in the evening, he gave him some soup. He gave him something to drink. He then walked him through smoking meth, showed him pornography, and forced himself on the victim. Inside of this apartment, police found meth, paraphernalia, and other disturbing items. What raises alarms for me is that he was a teacher in the school system here in Hillsborough County. Tonight we're learning Beaver worked at four different schools in Hillsborough County, mainly in areas of special needs. His longest tenure was about a decade here at Mendez Exceptional Center. Police just now starting their investigation into his past, searching for any more victims who he may or may not have worked with. And tonight I'm learning through these arrest documents that Beaver knew this man had developmental delays and admitted to doing all of these things with the victim. His argument to police, though, is that this is still an adult and it was all consensual. I'm reporting live in Tampa tonight. Clifton French, ABC Action News.